Hey everyone, before we jump into today's math problem, let's take a brief moment to relax and focus on our breathing. So sit up tall with your feet flat on the ground. Gently close your eyes. And let's do something new with our hands. Take your left hand and place it gently on your belly. And place your right hand either on your heart or on your sternum at the center of your chest. And inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale slowly through your nose. On the next inhale through your nose, feel your lungs filling as your spine grows nice and tall. And exhale slowly through your nose. On the next inhale, feel your chest rising and your belly filling. And slowly exhale. One last deep inhale as you continue growing tall with your shoulders relaxed. And at the top, hold your breath for a few seconds. And as you slowly exhale, feel the tension in your body release and feel a greater sense of calm and relaxation and gently open your eyes. This multiple choice problem is from the College Board. It comes from section four of the SAT test, which does allow calculators. And the question says, Nate walks 25 meters in 13.7 seconds. If he walks at the same rate, which of the following is closest to the distance he'll walk in four minutes? So, Take a minute or so to have a look at this and see what you can do. It's all right if you're not sure how to approach it. You can even just take a guess and then we'll have a look at it together. As you can imagine, this is somewhat of a straightforward proportions problem. We see that Nate is walking 25 meters in 13.7 seconds, and we want to know how far he's going to walk in four minutes. So I want to show you ways that we can actually use shortcuts to do this problem more quickly. And the biggest tip off to me was this word closest, which is indicating that we only have to identify which of the choices is closest to the answer. We don't have to compute the actual answer. So they're cutting us some slack here, and we're gonna take advantage of that. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the four minutes and convert it to seconds. 
because the first piece of data that we have is in seconds. So four minutes equals how many seconds? Well, I'm going to multiply that by 60 seconds per minute, and I'll get four minutes equal to 240 seconds. All right, so Nate's walking 240 seconds instead of 13.7 seconds. Now, let's use our estimation skills here. Very, very roughly, what is the relationship between 13.7 and 240? How many times bigger is 240? Well, I'm going to think about this, as I mentioned, really crudely. So 13.7 is about 13 or 14. And if I multiplied that by 20, 13 times 20 is 216, 14 times 20 is 280. So I want something that's a bit less than 20 times, all right? But 20 is our really rough order of magnitude multiplier. Okay, so he's walking about 20 times longer. And I wanna know what is gonna be about 20 times farther than 25 meters. So I want 20 times farther than 25 meters, the actual answer is going to be a bit less than that because my multiplier of 20, as we said, was a little too large. So I can do this in my head. So 20 times 25, what is that? Well, two times 25 is 50, and I have 20 instead of two, so it's gonna be 500 meters. All right, so here's what we do. We ask ourselves, which of the answer choices is a bit less 500 meters? And you'll see that the best choice is B. And that, in fact, is the correct answer. So you could have set this up as a proportion and computed the precise answer and then seen that B is the choice that's closest. But I wanted to show you how just by using estimation, you can get to that same conclusion. Sometimes having a calculator available to us becomes a crutch and that can lead us to use strategies that can actually take us longer. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this strategy that you can rely on your powers of estimation, especially if you notice that there are clues that are tipping us off to the fact that we don't have to find the precise answer. They're cutting us some slack and we can actually estimate which of the choices is closest. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I always enjoy hearing about your thoughts. And if you subscribe to this channel, you'll be notified of new videos as they become available. I enjoyed working together and I look forward to seeing you next time.